So it is Pride Month, and today we are spotlighting the Coming Out monologues. They were created by community members to tell their coming out stories. Profits go toward helping LGBTQ organizations here in the community. So joining us this morning, one of the organizers, Mike Vatter, to tell us more. Good to see you. How Good you doing? You. Thank you very much. So I, I know that for a lot of people, this is a big milestone in their lives. Yeah. And, and it was for you as well. Absolutely. Yeah, everyone's coming out story is unique. Um, and sometimes we never stop coming out. You know, every time you meet a new coworker or make a new friend or uh, meet somebody in a social gathering, you kind of have to come out all over again. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the way that the world has gone to uh, accepting LGBTQ? I mean, the community, because we, we have certainly seen a progression here, Absolutely. not just in Jacksonville, but all over. Yeah, when I came out, I was 16. years old. That was, you know, uh, a long time ago. That was the 90s. Um, <laughs> two or three years two, ago. Yeah, right? just a couple of years ago. It was, it was in the uh, mid-90s. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the world then was very progressive as far as accepting LGBT rights. Um, but we've come such a long way. And we've gone back a couple of steps here and there. But I think overall, the world is, is much more accepting than it was 30 years ago. Yeah, so what is the Coming Out Monologues all about? So the Coming Out Monologues is a theatrical performance where we've taken um, people in the community who want to share their story about coming out. Um, we've put it into a theatrical showcase where people are performing their own stories in five to eight minute monologues. And it's a, it's a great performance. The money that we raise goes to PFLAG and Jasmine. Mm -hmm. And these are true stories? These are true stories. Everyone tells their, their truth in their story. Um, and like I said, it's, it's a great performance. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's sometimes heart-wrenching, a little tugging at the heartstrings sometimes, but it's also funny and it's, you know, a great experience. Yeah, because I'm sure that you've seen some of your friends struggle to, to come out and, and it's, it's more difficult for some people rather than others, depending on their, their family and friends' of situations. Of course, yeah. Everybody's situation is unique. Mm -hmm. And so the stories themselves are unique. Mm -hmm. And this isn't just catered to the people in the LGBTQ community, right? Well, absolutely not. No, we want, we want everyone in the community to come. Whether you know anyone who is gay or not, whether you yourself are gay or not, we want you to come and enjoy the show and come in with an open mind and an open heart. And hopefully we'll change your opinions on some things or, or reinforce your opinions on others. But it's just a great, it's a learning experience for anyone who wants mm -hmm. to know more about our community. So it's all about acceptance and understanding. Absolutely. Okay, so I know that you have been preparing and working hard for <laughs> yes. your monologue. Yes. So we're going to give everybody a real sneak peek. Here. Okay. The following Monday at school, I was getting treated like the black sheep at a family reunion. Kids were whispering and laughing behind my back. The jocks would call me names barely under their breath as I walked by. I found my sanctuary in the school auditorium. Ironically, the only place I could escape teenage drama was in the drama club. One of the girls there told me that Brian had spent the entire morning telling anyone who would listen that I tried to take advantage of him at that party. He told them I got him drunk and made him kiss me. Seriously? Like I used some sort of mind control. I mean, I may be a fairy, but I'm not a magician. This year's show is Friday and Saturday night at WJCT Studios at 7 p.m. and Saturday afternoon at 1. Tickets 25 bucks ahead of time and $30 at the door.